All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to get artist information. And we're going to pull this information from www.last.fm. And we're going to use Tasker, Auto Notification, some Regex, and some JavaScript all inside of this tutorial. Because you will notice over here that I do have um, the source code loaded up too for these particular websites. And I'm going to show you where, where we can get the information from. That's really where the, the meat and potatoes comes in this tutorial. But we have to do quite a few things to build up to that. If I cycle through some of my songs, so I'm changing a song, stained, and notice it did pull the new information. If I change again, Red Hot Chili Peppers, give it a second to load up, and it should pull Red Hot Chili Peppers. There it is, as you can see. So I'm not doing anything except for changing my song. The task or task is doing all of the other work to pull this information. So let's go ahead and have a look at Tasker, and then we'll come back and finish things off showing you how I have it set up in KOWP. Now, something important to note, um, on my notification piece, I have this. This is very important because inside of Tasker, I had an issue, <clears throat> excuse me, of trying to figure out what artist was playing on my device. I use Spotify. This is what I'm going to be showing you with. If you don't use Spotify, things may be a little bit different. It's still worth a shot. So uh, we're going to have to create a profile eventually, but I'm going to come back to that. So task, and I, you can call it whatever you want, I have artist information. This entire Tasker file will be shared in my Tasker files that you can request access for over at my website. And that's idomath.weebly.com slash KOWP. Actually, it's going to be the Tasker Files one. But nonetheless, uh, I'm going to share the, this entire preset with all the animations and all the lyrics and the music component. That's already available to you on Dark Skittles. And then this component individually, the lyrics component is going to be, or not the lyrics, but the artist info component is going to be shared on KOWP Toots. All that stuff is going to be going out. Some of it's already available. Now inside of here, you may have noticed it said getting info. Every time I had a new song coming up, we had a flash that says getting info. That's totally optional. That's just there to let me know, yeah, it, the task is getting registered and that it's going to pull some information, hopefully. Now, I mentioned up here in my notifications, I have Spotify up here. Well, I want to query that notification. So that's going to be my first piece, my first true action in this task, auto notification query. And what we want to do is we want to look inside of the notification app Spotify. So I'm going to go click on my little pencil. And the only thing I really have changed inside of here, whoops, let me click on apps. And if I scroll down, you will see, I just checked another one, didn't I? I sure did. Yep, let me take that one off. Come on down here and you should see that Spotify is going to be checked. So make sure you check whatever app you're looking for, uh, whatever notification, whatever app you need to get that information from. So if I check on that, and what you're going to get from this notification, all of this stuff, Tasker's going to look at all this junk, all the notification. It's going to create variables for the picture, the title, this, 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 this. Tons of variables are going to get created here. Well, the one that worked for me to get, I'm trying to get the artist name. I could not get the artist name using percent music or percent track. And I think that's a Spotify issue. Some of you may be able to dodge all this stuff <clears throat> And just use, like, there's a variable, I think it's percent music or percent M track or something to get the uh, artist name. I can't remember. It didn't work for me. That's why I had to resort to this. But the variable that worked for me out of all this junk is percent and text, auto notification text. That's the one that worked for me. Okay. So if I back out of this, let me take this percent and text and let me bring it up here. Now, you may notice I don't have parentheses in this. I'm guessing sometimes it may show up as an array of information since we have the parentheses there. I'm just going to flash this real quick so you can see what's going on. And notice it says red hot chili peppers. <clears throat> All right. Well, if I come here and I take away the parentheses, it's going to say the same thing. See that? All right, now, what do I want to do with this? I ran into a few issues with letting it use just red hot chili peppers. So what I wanted to do, and I'm going to come over here and show that to you right now. If I do red hot chili peppers, uh, and notice it puts the percent 20s in between it, and then it changes, it, it changes them to plus. Sometimes it does this, sometimes it doesn't. But really what I'm interested in doing is, is taking all those spaces. And let me pause that. Uh, taking all these spaces 
in the title of the song. Or not only that, if I do like Jane's Addiction, notice it's doing like Jane's with some funky stuff and it, it, anything that's non alphanumeric, uh, apostrophe spaces, I'm assuming hyphens would work here. Oh my goodness. But anyway, uh, so the Jane's Addiction, that's another time. Well, what do we want to do with all this stuff? We want to search through that and text. And I'm going to do a variable search replace. And you're going to look for backslash W. And this is going to look for anything that's non-alphanumeric. I mentioned that in my most recent uh, tutorial on, uh, yeah, on the lyrics. So we want to search for that. What do we want to replace it with? I'm going to replace it with a plus. So anything it sees that's non-alphanumeric, that's what it's going to search for. It's going to put a plus in that spot. So if I take this percent or this uh, percent and text and I put it beneath this variable search replace, Watch what happens to K or watch what happens to Red Hot Chili Peppers. Notice we got the pluses in between it. Okay, so that's exactly what we want. Now we're ready to use that variable percent and text with the pluses in it. We're ready to use that in a HTTP get. So that's exactly what I'm going to do for my next action. And what we want to do there is take this URL HTTPS. Da -da 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 -da. That's exactly what I have typed in over here, as you can see from the beginning. And then once we get to the part where the artist or the artist's name needs to go, I'm going to use percent and text. So that's going to put that red hot chili peppers with a plus in between each word. And then we want to do plus wiki. Now what the plus wiki is going to do, let me go ahead and go to red hot chili peppers plus wiki. Notice it does put the pluses up there. I mean, I have all sorts of stuff happening over here because we're getting ready to dive into all this. But this is going to pull up the biography. You know why I never played basketball? This is where it's going to pull up the biography for all this stuff, or for Chili Peppers at least. All right, so now, now that we're here, this is what Tasker is going to fetch for us. What we want to do is a JavaScriptlet on it. And I want to get all of this information here, up to right here. So 2007 tour dates, that's where it's going to end. And the beginning is going to be the Red Hot Chili Peppers, blah, 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 blah. All right, so anywhere inside of here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to get go to inspect. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to take the, the, the what is this developer tools. You got a console and you have elements. Okay, so we have these two pieces. Elements, notice these little P's here. These are like each individual paragraph. And by us right-clicking over here, it's going to take us to that specific spot that we're looking for. Well, I want to get all of this information. Notice if I come on down here a little bit more. As I slide down, see all these blues coming over here? Watch these blues. See those blues moving? Because I'm going through each paragraph. I want to get all of it. Well, if we take note of this piece right here, wiki content, that's the class that has all of this information in it. So I'm interested in that class right. I thought I could copy the whole freaking thing. But anyway, okay, I want to copy that part. Actually, I could do the quotations as well. I think it's good to keep the quotations there. Okay, and we want to go over to console. So let me show you some stuff that we can do inside of the console. Inside of the console, first of all, as I'm just going to let doc equal document. You don't have to do that. It don't matter. I mean, I can still use document. I just, I got, I've done this so much. I'm so used to typing in doc. But what we want to do is we want to do doc dot get elements by class name. And we want to do percent. And as you can see, I have done this several times. This is the one that I'm interested in right now, because I'm going to show you some stuff. Now, what this is going to do when I come and press enter, it's going to take all of this elements junk and basically, it's going to get me down to this class right here with all this stuff in it. But notice I don't have a number or anything after it. So if I, once I pressed enter on that, it brought up this stuff. Now, notice as I highlight this, that's telling me I'm in the right spot because I'm getting all that blue. Notice it's highlighted blue over there. And if I click inside of here, you have to hunt around. Sometimes you might have to hunt through here. These are all those individual paragraphs. So that's where you can get individual pieces. But really, I want the whole shebang. I just go ahead and give it, give it all to me. Well, lucky for us, we can get it all right here at enter text. Watch this. See that gray box beneath the mouse? Notice it starts off with the red hot chili peppers. And if you look at the very end, it's down over in here. When I highlight back over it, it says 2007 tour dates. And that's exactly what I showed you over here a moment ago. That's what we wanted. Everything from the beginning all the way down to the end. So I'm getting all that information. Well, this was a quick find. All we have to do is get to that inner text. And notice if you highlight your mouse over these pieces, you can right click on it and you can go to copy property path. Okay. I'm going to come up here and minimize that. 
and I'm going to go back to doc dot get elements by class name wiki content and before after the parentheses but before my semicolon I'm going to paste that property path I just copied now you don't have to have these quotations here it does not matter I'm gonna put them there anyway for right now but what that is is that's all of that inner text of this particular page now it will not always be inner text you've heard me mention this in older videos the better I've gotten with this the more I've just relied on the console to navigate through and try to find the information that I want. All right, now like I said, it does not matter. We could actually come in here and do, if I delete and just do a zero there, it's still gonna pull the same information. So you're fine with that. Now what's gonna happen if we take away the quotations on wiki content? Uh, let's see what happens there. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, it doesn't do anything there. So we wanna definitely keep the quotations around wiki content. As you can see, that's what I have right here. Well, that piece there is what I have to copy over into Tasker after doing a little bit of uh, initial work. And initial work is going to be this right here. So I've mentioned, I've showed you this website a time or two. And basically, I'm taking that uh, new DOM parser, parse string, blah, 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 blah. And let me go ahead and go into Tasker and show you that in my JavaScriptlet. So we've done all this stuff all the way to the JavaScriptlet. So var doc equals new DOM parser blah, 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 blah. Don't forget global quotation HTTPD quotation. Don't be careful typing all this stuff in. That's going to pull that HTTP data that we did, that we uh, triggered in our HTTP get. Okay. Now I call this info var info equals, and notice this right here. Is that exact right there? Dot dot get elements by class name, blah, 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 blah. That's exactly what I have here. And I'm calling that info. You can call it whatever you want. Var info, var stuff, var artist info, whatever you want to call it. Give it at least three characters, I think. At least, yes, I just did four, but um, that's a little tasker limitation, I think. And then once we get that information, once it does that right there, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and do an alert and let me do info. Now I'm going to probably get an error this time, but. No, okay, we got it all. Boom. As you can see, that's all of that information that we see here because it's all about alert info is going to give me whatever info is. And info is this, which matches this over here. Every once in a while, I have run into issues where it does not work, but few and far between. Sometimes the, the how deep you dive into that HTML collection stuff, the HTML collection stuff is going to be like this right here. HTML collection, how deep you dive into this. Because look, I mean, you can go real deep into this thing. Boom, boom. I mean, look, you can go crazy with this. But sometimes if you dive too deep, I don't think Tasker is going to pull it. I don't know why, but right now we're good to go. So let's go back into here. I'll tell you what, I think we're good with that. <clears throat> so var info, we got it. Now what do we want to do? Perform task. Remember, I've mentioned this in my previous tutorials as well, where I've used Tasker to send a variable over to KOWP. This is a task. Uh, the task I have called it is KOWP broadcast. And to show you that task, that is created outside of artist information. I actually have it back here in one of my other little projects, DOM stuff, and here it is. That's that task, KOWP broadcast. I have showed you this in other tutorials, but just in case you missed it, here is the KOWP broadcast task. It's just a send intent and Type that in for action, cat none, and then fill in these three pieces uh, for extra, extra, and extra. Fill those in exactly the same way. You can always refer back to this task. Very, very, very helpful when you want to send over a bunch of information to KOWP at one time, especially using this in like a JavaScript loop or something like that. But I'm performing task, KOWP broadcast, comma 10, comma, this is the variable name that I'm going to give it in KOWP, bio. I have it in quotation marks. Then a comma, what information do I want sent over? I want info sent over. So whatever you call this variable up here, that's what you want to put there, and you do not want to put it in quotations. You actually want to put what that info is, and that's going to be that big, long paragraph or paragraphs of information of your artist or information on your artist. Now let me cancel that out that way I don't see that again 
So this JavaScript is actually doing a couple of things. It's, it's parsing the information. It's getting the biography on the artist, which we're getting from over here. And then it's going to send that variable over to KOWP. So backing out of that, all that's done. Now, I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to come back. And now one more thing to show you too, the profile. You know, how am I automatically getting this information? Uh, you know, whenever I change songs, how is Tasker automatically getting triggered? How is that task artist information getting triggered? Well, that profile is going to be an auto notification intercept event. So we go to plus, we go to event, and we do auto, whoops, auto notification intercept. That, that's the one you want right there. I'm just going to back out of that, but select it. And then you're going to have to pick your task, pick the artist information. And then what we want to do is we, inside of this pro, uh, profile here, auto notification intercept event behavior, click on that. And what we want to do is we want to make sure for notification apps, we go to Spotify. So clicking on the pencil, if I go to apps, Spotify. So every time Spotify changes songs or changes artists or whatever, a new notification will be uh, triggered, which is going to trigger this profile, which in turn triggers our artist information task. That's how this automatically gets done every single time we change songs on Spotify. And there, so that's that information, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Let me go into KOWP, since we talked about the KOWP broadcast. And if I go to this component that I have, artist info, I got a stack group because I have two pieces of, or two things inside of here. I got the actual artist info, then I have a little font icon that I can touch and open up a web page. And it's not going to be this exact web page, it's actually going to be this one right here. I couldn't get the plus wiki to work. Maybe some of y'all can, but I, I couldn't get it to work. But this is what it's going to pull up. Let me pause this once it starts. You know what? So text. Red Hot Chili Peppers, oh, you're not going to see that yet, but let me show you what I've done to minimize this down. Now, if I take away, you know, if I just go back to Broadcast Tasker and I look for my bio, remember that's what I called it in KOWP Broadcast. When I was creating that JavaScript, remember how we called it bio with the quotations around it? Well, that's what we want to look for and notice it's showing that same information. Well, if I check this and I save it and I go back to the home screen, we have way too much info. <laughs> and the way we fix this is that we can let KOWP cut it down, cut some of that text out. And that's exactly what I had a minute ago that I just deleted. So TC, and if you do the ELL, -L, let me scroll down and see what the heck, I can't remember what that stands for. All right, go to TC, and we want to ellipsize. Uh, so to cut and add dot, dot, dot. So that's what I want to do. I want to cut it. And I want to cut that entire paragraph. And then how many characters do I want to cut? Well, let's just start off with five and see what happens. Well, one, two, three, that counts as a, a spot, that space, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, if I bump this up to, say, 20, it's going to give you even more. If I bump this up to, say, 50, we're getting even more. But maybe we want something like 500. That's what I had initially. And somewhere around there, based on how I have my component set up, it's giving me some information and it's cutting it off with those three dots. Hopefully you do see those three dots at the end. That's what that ELL does. And maybe you did notice it here as well. If I delete, I make it back to 50. As you can see, we do have the dot, dot, dot at the end of it. So I'm going to keep that at 500. I'm going to check that. I'm going to come back to this font icon. That's this bottom piece that you see right here. <clears throat> when I touch this, I want to open link. And I'm just typing in that URL that I have right here. With the exception of this spot right here, I want to do uh, dollar sign MI artist. And I didn't have to do anything special about this. I didn't have to go in there and omit the spaces or anything like that, like I did back with the lyrics video. The song, remember the song lyrics? I had to go in there and do some regex. I have not had to do that. And it still opens up that web page to the artist. Uh, every time it'll open up this web page or whatever artist you may have. And I will show you that because I don't think I've showed you that yet. So let me say this, go back to the home screen. Let me touch that icon down there. And as you can see, it should load up this exact page that we have over here. Boom. Yep. All right. So backing out of that, let's just go through and make sure everything's going to work. Make sure I didn't jack anything up. If I go to a new artist, Kings of Leon. Kings of Leon. I know. <laughs> okay, I need to go back in there and, and hide one thing. And let's just see if this page loads up. 
It should no, no longer be Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now we have Kings of Leon. And going back to the home screen, let me go into Tasker and get rid of one thing. And the thing I want to get rid of in here is I had that uh, Kings of Leon or uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Remember how I was showing you the pluses in between it? I need to cut that one off because I don't really need to see that for this thing to work. But um, yeah, you know, there you have it. That's how you can get artist information using last.fm or www.last.fm using a little bit of regex, some JavaScript, and uh, sending all this stuff over to KOWP. Again, the only way I could get this to work was the artist using the artist up in my Spotify notification. Again, if you can uh, get another variable to work, I think it's percent M track and tasker. I encourage you to read about it online and see if you can get that to work as well, because that'll take away that whole auto notification. But there you have it. That's how you can get artist notification in KLWP. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.